So the basis, the diagram below is an illustration of some form tools. Study them carefully and use to answer the questions that follow. So I identify the tools. So the first one is a hand fork. The second one is a hoe. The third one is a shears or a pair of shears. State one use of each of the tools. So the hand fork is used for digging the soil. It's also used for turning compost. Then the hoe. The hoe is used for weeding. And it's also used for uprooting stamps or preparing mounts for, let's say, yam. And the shears. Yeah, it's for trimming or pruning. And the I, I, I mentioned two ways of maintaining the farm tools. So you can grease the oil part or oil the oil part, sharpening of the sharp part and then changing the bleed. Then wash them, wash and dry them after use. Give two reasons we need to maintain the farm tools to prolong the lifespan and also to increase the efficiency. It also saves cost of buying a new one. An experiment to demonstrate photosynthesis, the setup in diagram below was left to stand for two days. Study the setup carefully and answer the questions that follow. So you have something like um, a hollow glass tube with a potted plant, air coming in, then sunlight hitting the hollow glass tube. Then the first question is, give four reasons why photosynthesis will occur in the setup above. So okay, because one, there's water, there's also sunlight, and there's also the availability of air carbon dioxide. There's also the presence of chlorophyll. So these are the four reasons. What is the role of sunlight in the process above? The role of the sunlight is to give energy to change the water and carbon dioxide to glucose. State four steps to test the main product of photosynthesis. So what's the main product of photosynthesis? It's starch. Now the test for starch, the leaf is boiled in a boiling water to kill all the germs and stop chemical reactions. That's the first step. Two, it is placed in alcohol and heated to remove the chlorophyll and decolorize the leaf. That's two. Now the leaf is washed in cold water to soften it. That's three. Then four, a few drops of iodine is added to the leaf. Continuing the sentence, when the leaf turns blue-black, it indicates the presence of starch in the leaf. So when you are asked for steps, no matter how you write, make sure you stick to the number that you were asked for and be brief, very brief. The next question is to name the byproduct of photosynthesis and state how you test for it. Now the byproduct of photosynthesis is oxygen. How do you test for oxygen? Oxygen supports burning. So if something supports burning, you take a glowing splint closer to it. So it reignites, oxygen reignites the glowing splint. So we also to the diagrams below illustrate two different methods of separation of mixtures. So we have A and we have B. Let's name and explain the separation methods labeled A and B above. You don't need to write much as I always say. You always need to be very concise and make sure you are hitting the main points. So the first one here is simple distillation. And this method is used to separate two insoluble or immiscible liquids processes evaporation and then condensation. The mixture is first heated, resulting in vapor, and the vapor passes through the condenser, and the kinetic energy of the vapor is reduced, so it becomes liquid, and then it gets into the conical flask that you have here. Now, what you have in a conical flask, we call the distillate. Now, the second one is filtration. Filtration is used to separate insoluble solids and then a liquid. Now, I, I, we are being asked to identify the label parts. So, I is a benzene burner. That's what you have below the round bottom flask. I, I is a condenser. I, I, I is a beaker. Ivy 
is a filter paper, V is a funnel, then VI is a volumetric flask. State the use of the apparatus I, 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 and IV. So I, which is the benzene burner, is used to heat up the liquid mixture in the wood. Then I, I is the condenser, helps to change the vapor to liquid during distillation. And IV is used to separate the solid particles from the liquid in the beaker. And Ivan says, explain the role of heat in one of the separation methods. Now, the heat is definitely used during distillation. So during distillation, the mixture is first heated, resulting in vapor through a condenser. The condenser then cools the vapor in order to obtain the pure liquid leaving behind a soluble solute. So without the heating process, this um, liquid that has a slightly lower temperature than the one it is being compared with wouldn't evaporate, so the mixture wouldn't separate. The diagram below is used to demonstrate a phenomenon of light. Study it carefully and use it to answer the questions that follow. So we have an observer here, then a candle light. We also have structures here with holes through which an observer can see the candle light. So I, what will the observer see in the setup above? The observer will see the candle light, not the candle. Then I, I, name and explain the phenomena being investigated. The phenomena being investigated is a rectilinear propagation of light, or to show that light travels in a straight line. I, I, I. It says, if the center card is shifted slightly sideways, that is the one in the middle, shifted slightly sideways, still don't explain what the observation would be. So when the center card is shifted, the observer will not be able to see the light, the candle light. Then the explanation is that there is no space for the light to pass through. So light cannot travel through the... Um, whatever structure is, is preventing the observer from seeing. So, and the light also cannot be bent. So the light rays will be blocked. Ivan says, if a plain glass and a colored plastic were placed in turn between the light and the card B, so then I explain what observations will be made. Let's break the question down. So a plain glass and a colored plastic were placed in turn between the light and B. It's going to be so here. This is what will be the observation. The light can be seen by the observer. This is simply because glass is transparent and therefore light will pass through. It's just that the light will be colored because of the colored plastic. The thing is saying if another card without a hole was placed between the cards and the lights. Still and explain what the observer would what observation will be made. The card is opaque, therefore blocks the path of light. You know when you are asked practical questions, you have to be very brief and make sure you include keywords. Click on the image by my channel name to see more videos that I make.